subscribe AMI and get the latest technological updates every day. Also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos. Hey guys, welcome back to AMI. So guys, in this video we are going to talk about the future technology. Myself Narendra and in this video we will be covering another new topic which is named as a bloom box. So guys, as we all know, the energy can be neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form of energy into the another form. Okay, so just like the similar example, I am giving the US uh, like uh, A4 battery. The chemical energy is stored inside the A4 battery, and it can be converted into the electricity or uh, electrical energy. That is e DC electrical energy, DC power supply. We can call it as. Okay, so guys. Uh, such example I want to give show you and such that is our new today's topic which is bloom box so bloom box is a box it's a cube basically it has chemical energy stored inside that cube and it can it, it is converted that chemical energy into the electricity electricity it will produce the AC power supply it will produce the AC current it will produce the AC electricity okay so guys, uh, I hope you have seen the that movie that is from Marvel movie, which is Captain America: First Avenger. So guys, inside that movie, there is a cube, which is a tesseract cube, which is a source of power, which has a gigantic power stored inside a cube. Okay, so that particular energy which is stored inside that cube is, it can be powered to our city. It can be powered the huge industries it can be powered to the lot of heavy machineries lot of heavy machines also okay guys so similarly there is a that's our today's topic which is bloom box so bloom box is first used in nasa from 1969 they are using this kind of technology and they are hiding that particular technology from our from us <clears throat> okay guys so basically now it is open for everyone so special thanks goes to the bloom energy which is a, which is a company which is a us based company okay guys so you can check this uh, uh, link in the description i have given the website link okay so guys this is you know the future this is the future so we can power our houses 24 by 7 into 365 days by using this particular cube it can produce a lot of power and a lot of energy and this can be utilized to you know to save the cost of electricity okay so we don't need the reliance we don't need the money to power our houses we just need this box that is pulling box similarly so guys let's understand how does it works what is the principle of its uh, the working of bloom box what are the applications and what are the future applications if our uh, if i'm powering that particular energy to my house I can power to my cell my cell phone also I can power to my vehicle also I can power to my industry also okay guys so that kind of various applications we will be seeing in this video so guys stay tuned with AMI so I'll be giving you a lot of interesting topics such as this drone boxes and everything so <clears throat> thank you guys for watching my video please do uh, please watch my video till the end so you get the detailed information about the bloom boxes Okay guys, so thank you guys. Have a good day. Have a good day. So guys, bloom box. So the bloom box as shown in this figure, it produces the electricity. So guys, the boom bloom box can be called as the SOFCs, which is nothing but the solid oxide fuel cell. So as shown in this figure, this is the typical solid oxide fuel cell which produces the energy. So it just like a battery which produces the energy. So guys, a fuel cell consists of a three parts, basically an electrolyte, anode and the cathode. So the electrolyte can be the fluid, solid, ceramic material, like, uh, just like a uh, sand, SiO2, the anode and the cathode are made from the special inks okay which gets coated on the surface of this electrolyte so guys an electrochemical reaction takes place which converts the fuel and air into the electricity so guys uh, 
in this image it is shown the warm air enters from cathode side okay and the reformed fuel which is a mixture of fuel and steam which is comes from the anode side so guys at that particular point the chemical reaction takes place at electrolyte so guys the reformed fuel attracts the oxygen ions from the cathode okay so the reaction which is shown over here reformed fuel plus o2 gives us basically h2o water co2 carbon dioxide and four electrons so this reaction also generates the some amount of heat so guys that four electron which is nothing but the flow of electron generates the electricity so guys this is particular electricity so guys this is how the electricity gets formed so as long as there are fuel heat and air the process continues to producing clean reliable and affordable energy so guys this is how a solid oxide fuel cell works so guys uh, i hope you like my video please do hit like share and comment below if you have any doubts please do subscribe to my channel aim aim i thank you guys